George, you looking forward to playing for Hampshire during the T20 competition? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be uh, another good opportunity for myself and um, just looking forward to uh, every moment playing with a, a new team, but a, a team that I know quite well. I can imagine uh, this competition with not so many overseas players around at the moment. Players like yourself must be well sought after. So were there other counties that were interested as well? Uh, yeah, there, there were a few, but um, actually I work quite closely with my agent and uh, Hampshire was always my number one choice. I was down here in 2018 and just loved the environment and uh, loved the dressing room. And the, you know they've got a great coaching staff, so it's actually a really good opportunity for me not only to come here and play, but to also try and learn off the other guys and the coaches and try and take all their experiences and put them into mine. As you say, you were here a couple of years ago, so you've kind of got a feel for the place. Yeah, definitely. And and I went away wanting to be a part of it. So um, really thankful. It's my you know. I've got a, got a chance here with Hampshire to play in the Vitality Blast when it starts and uh, just looking forward to have some fun. I guess you know Brad Wheel quite well from playing in the same Scotland side as well. Yeah, no, Wheelie's a good lad. I, I think I've dropped him a few times at slips, so uh, there's, uh, there's always a bit of banter flying around. This, this, I mean, this, this sort of white ball is very much your forte at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. White ball is something I focus on. I think, uh, especially in the associate world, we don't play too much red ball cricket, so it's quite easy to focus on white ball, but I just think that especially T20 it sort of suits my nature my style and what I want to implement on, on cricket I've read a couple of things I mean a, a, sort of switch hitting and reverse sweeping is that your sort of main thing in, in, in Liberty Davis cricket? <laughs> kind of yeah it's, it's, it sounds like I don't play straight anymore but uh, no it's just uh, it's just one of my sort of uh, stronger options and I think it's just a main part of cricket now it's no longer a sort of uh, you know a trademark thing I think it's something that the youngsters just have to uh, you know, practice and get, get good at and it's something that I work quite hard at. And just this sort of playing T20 and one or two other white ball tournaments, that fits in quite well with your Scotland commitments? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it allows us to be quite flexible. Um, we can see when our Scotland commitments are in the diary and, um, you know, we can, we can plan ahead with these, with these events and it just, you know, so happens to be that this uh, vitality, vitality Blast fits in with our, with our calendar. And of course, you've helped Scotland reach the World Cup as well so you've got a lot to look forward to no definitely um, it's definitely not just me I think we've got a cracking squad up there I think there'll be over the years there'll be a few more Scottish guys coming down here playing for counties in the white ball f uh, format especially but even possibly the red ball stuff and uh, I'm just looking forward to you know seeing the growth in, in Scotland and seeing how far we can get I'm going to refrain from using the uh, playing for Scotland in this weather at the moment because we're all getting wet, which is uh, which isn't uh, helping. Um, but in, in terms of your your development, do you I mean do you not see yourself playing so much red ball from now on? Uh, I better be careful what I say, but no, <laughs> it's uh, it's a strange one with with our calendar. It's so heavily white ball based. I mean, we've not played a red ball game for Scotland since 2017. So. We spend no time whatsoever training it, and you know we're just we're waiting to see what the ICC do uh, does with the, you know our, our red ball competition. It's currently on hold, and uh, the the white ball is is getting a getting a big push at the at the moment, and it's something that we all enjoy doing and practicing. So we're just you know focusing on that. I mentioned the I mentioned Scotland getting through to the World Cup recently, but you've had a hell of a year or so, haven't you? Because you've been playing in one or two white ball tournaments around the world. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've been very lucky to, to get in a few franchise events now and uh, just learn off some of the best players, you know, in, in world cricket. And that's only going to put me in good stead. But also that, you know, going back to the Scotland team, we all, we all learn off each other. And the more experiences we can have as a group is only going to make us better cricketers in the long run. And that's, you know, another opportunity for me to come down here with Hampshire and learn off some very good players and also learn off some great coaches. Is Hampshire the first county that you've had any or will have any experience with in terms of counties? Uh, no, I've been attached to a few counties, but uh, I think this will be my first uh, proper crack at uh, the Vitality Blast. I was meant to be with Leicestershire last year, but the Canadian T20 um, came up, and that was an opportunity that I couldn't really uh, couldn't really miss. Um, and uh, I just I'm just looking forward to just you know seeing what it's all about and just having a lot of fun with uh, with Hampshire. Yeah. You will know as much as anybody that white ball cricket is very stats based and I think I'm right in saying your strike rate is getting up towards 150 for 100 balls. That puts you in a pretty elite bracket. I think it's over 150 but we won't, we won't go into it. No, I'm only joking. Um, I don't look too much at the stats although that is a stat that I look at just purely based on it's the only one that's probably flattering. But uh, I think the, with the way the T20 is moving you're going to see a lot more players sort of trying to strike at 140, 150, 160 as you know that becomes a really valuable 
asset to any team and um, it's something that we do look at but we don't focus on it you just at the end of the day you've got to play the ball on its merit and just find your strongest ways to hit boundaries and that's t20 cricket now you're obviously making your name for yourself in the world of cricket but i believe that actually that golf was your thing at one point yeah when i was younger uh at least to, used to play a bit of golf but um started on a, a you know a golf academy up in scotland and that's what got me to scotland but uh Come age 16, I was just, you know, really enjoying the dressing room. Cricket and golf have always been my, my two sort of passions and uh, just cricket started to overtake golf and uh, just enjoying being around other people, especially at trainings. You know, we spend a lot of time training, travelling and to do it with a group of mates around the world is, is something quite special and not a lot of people get to do. So it's a, it's a massive, it's a massive honour to be a part of a team sport and also to, you know, play for Scotland and travel. Is there anything about your early days in golf that's helped you with your batting in cricket at all? Yeah, definitely. I think the I think my swing is actually you know it's not far off a golf swing at sometimes uh, in an innings. But um, I think any sport you can sort of um, put into your own plan, especially as a batter. You know, I used to play hockey, and that's probably where the switch hits and the reverse sweeps came along. And um, I think you've got to take all the experiences you can and just try and improve um, every part of your game. Would you like to sort of be at Hampshire for a while if if, if everything goes well this year? No, definitely. I think Hampshire's a great environment, like I said before, and uh, I feel privileged to be a part of it, so it's definitely something that I'm looking at.